Hello Libra, welcome to your daily inspo. If you are new here, I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. I don't know why I just get the feeling like it's juicy. It's juicy. But let's get right into our shadow work question of the day. We're still on shadow work. It is, how do you perceive failure and how does that perception impact your willingness to take risk or pursue your goals? How do you perceive failure? Mm, that's a nice one. That is a nice one. When you fail, what do you tell yourself? Or oh, what is failure to you? I'm feeling like that there's a message that's going to be like fail forward. Or why you need to look at some type of shortcomings or a person is afraid to fail so they're not so they're not starting. Um This also gives me the leads me the question, do you have the fear of failure or the fear of success? Move quickly. <laughs> that is the download. Move quickly. Something is juicy. Move quickly. Something is is so good. Something is perfect for you right now. I also feel this energy of early bird gets the worm first. I feel that energy of early bird get the worm first. And the energy of whoever, like first come, first serve type of energy. The center of attention. Freeing yourself from a past hurt. Yeah, some, some hurt that has to do with failure or the fear of failure. Or the fear of success it could, could lead to failure. Just unpacking failure. What does that mean to you? Like I told you, move quick. Something is yours. It's perfectly for you. If you were to go get it. If you were to act quick and go get that thing. So it would be like, show me, right? Show me. Where do I need to move quickly in my life to get my manifestation that I've been trying to attract to me, that I've been trying to bring to fruition? Why am I also getting a call to attention or a call to action? You got the fox here. So the fox is watching you. The birds are watching you. And this is because they have successful speculation about something. There's something that you're doing that the haters <laughs> have successful speculation about you doing. <clears throat> I wonder what that is. Or are you the one speculating? I don't know why I feel like people are key keying over something, like talking, chit chatting over, like, I don't know why. I just feel this energy of whispers or. Everybody got to come to get together. Something is so juicy. It's real juicy. Maybe it's a quick phone call. I don't know. Maybe you got people huddled up <laughs> in the group chat talking. I don't know what is so juicy. What What's going on? You are the center of attention. It's so juicy. Hmm. Some story is so juicy. Well, they could be talking about, I don't know. Okay. 
<laughs> I don't know what they could be talking about, but whatever it is, it's juicy. You got the king of wands. This is you with your eyes focused on the prize. Like you are the talk and you know that. Um, you are steady working. Patience, consistency, steady working, still focused. Yeah, you're in a better place. You got the four of cups with the sun. There's a new option that has been revealed to you also. So something, what is going on here? Like you got the people who, the birds talking, this person who wants to secretly betray you talking. You got something coming in. That's, there's a, a new option that is um, making itself available to you or exposing itself to you. There's mystery. Like what are they, what is going on? <clears throat> what are you talking about? What are they talking about? Either way, you're focused. You're coming up as the king of wands here. Fear. Wow. I open up the deck and I see fear. I see fear. Fear. Somebody was fearing a painful ending or a painful cycle or somebody was fearing some type of betrayal that led to an ending. And not only did you have to get some type of exposed truth that, that a relationship was no more, it was going to an end, but you also had to get some exposed truth that this person was going to betray you. Betrayed you. So it's two coming out. It's the ending and the betrayal. And then now, everybody's watching. We do have a celebration. Something, it doesn't, something does not break you or whatever. That's for a person that's going through something that had to get two painful truths in one. It was like one truth, but now it's, it's, it's betrayal and a relationship is officially over. Somebody is swallowing that. Um, there also could just be a painful truth. For some of you guys, it's an ended cycle. It's just, it's, a, it's fear of an ending, but the ending is inevitable. The ending happens. Some of you guys have a very powerful mentor. You got some wisdom coming towards you. You got some nice words, some discernment, enlightenment coming towards you. All right. So we're going to get back into, going to get into our reading. Get into the Celtic cross. Actually, I want to start off with. The cats. Let me start off with the cats. Okay. What messages do we have for Libra today for the daily inspo? Thank you, thank you, thank you. messages do we have for Libra? <clears throat> Excuse me. There's something that you need to release. An ending. And the challenge is Oh, this reminds me of the picture of the little boy with the um, teddy bear. And he doesn't want to let the teddy bear go. But Jesus has a big teddy bear behind his back. And it's like, if you would only trust and let something go so I can bring 
and get this bigger and better thing. There's something better, basically. But there's a person who doesn't quite know what's what's going on, and that's what the fear is. That could be failure. You might be thinking like, <clears throat> "What well, am I going to fail?" Well, the fact that you put yourself in the position to, in the position to fail. Let me even get, let me get some statistics for you. Okay. For you and you haters that's watching. That's like, oh, they put themselves in the position to fail. <laughs> Stupid Libra. Stupid Libra. <laughs> they did that, 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 that. Let me show you. Um, okay, so only 90, well, not only. 92% of people give up on their dreams or fail to even try to do it. So the fact that you are even in this position where you're ready to kind of take a leap of faith. Of course, there will be a huge pull because the majority of the world is used to either not doing it or giving up. Of not having this belief system when it comes to dreams, goals, or whatever. So for you that's watching... There's only 8% of people who actually achieve their dreams. Only 8% of people. And it's crazy how we're talking about fear, I mean failure, fear, all of that stuff. What do you what do you think? Do you think failure is oh I blew it or I am learning as I am reaching for my dreams. I do feel like the I, how you identify failure, it separates you from the 8%, I mean, from the 92%. That's what separates the 8% from the 92%. How you view failure. Do you fail forward or do you fail backwards? Or do you fail and then stop and then that's it and I can't try anymore? Or are you like a little daredevil? I got a lot of fire in my chart, so I'm a little daredevil sometimes. Everybody know that thing about Libra. We'll try it once. <laughs> we'll try something. So are you willing to fail? And if you are willing to fail, that already separates you. You already have something in you that a lot of people do not have. A lot of people are afraid to fail, afraid that something won't won't work or I'll make a fool of myself. That's why the number one thing that you have to do in order to chase your dreams is not care what other people think. You cannot care what another person is thinking about you if you're going to chase your dreams. Let's go into the crows. So you don't know what's lurking and you're ready to let something go. And this could be you, you letting a relationship go or ending. This could also be you surrendering something to the universe because you have to do that with your dream. <clears throat> Releasing it out into the universe, releasing something. Somebody has a release date that they're thinking about change it, changing. Don't change that. Keep it. It's almost like getting cold feet. What the heck? Okay. Yes. That's Libra saying, I believe I can fly. You got soar. Your belief system is that you believe that you can soar. You believe in yourself. You believe that you can soar. No matter what's going on, you got upheaval at the bottom of the deck. You got dominance at the top of the deck. No matter what's going on, you believe you can fly above. You believe you can fly. So you already think crazy. There's somebody here that their crazy mindset, the fact that you have a different type of mindset, the, fa the fact that you believe in something. 
That already makes you a little... In order to chase your dreams, you got to be a little crazy. <laughs> you can't be afraid to get a little crazy to chase your dreams. I'm pretty sure people was looking at Jeff Bezos like he was crazy. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure people looked at Gary V like he was crazy. I'm pretty sure. The conflict right now is the battle. <laughs> the battle to get you to choose least resistance to this. For some of you guys, this thing is not even... I won't say that hard because that, that would be me lying. But um, this thing could be much smoother if you would give up resistance. If you would let the universe drive the car. There is a territory. There is a certain place that you are supposed to be in. There's a certain place that you are supposed to be in. And in this place, luck, reigning abundance. And spirit is trying to push you to this place. But the reason why you're resistant is because the path don't look like the path you, you envision. The doors that you opening up, what's in there don't look like what you thought would be in those doors. You're not meeting the people that you thought you would meet. So it's almost kind of sounding like you want to control some type of, you want to control the, joy, the, the journey. There's a need for you to go ahead and go on this journey. Allow it to happen. There's a battle. There could be a lot going on within. Like I said, you got these people around. Um, don't feel like you have to prove yourself. In the past, you were waterproof. An anomaly. A rare breed. Unique. How many times do you get to see a white crow? You are a different breed. So you've already tapped into some type of power. There's some power that you've tapped in. Younger, you didn't care. You, you wanted, there's something that you wanted to do and you would go after it. I'm getting this energy of like younger. This could be your inner child, your inner teenager. Okay, your inner young adults, no matter how old you are, but there's a part of you. It's like there's a younger part of yourself that's trying to help you. All right. Um, in the future, now you have better insight. Now you know how to play the game. So you watch something and now you know how to play the game. We do have this exposure. You never know what you find in this exposure. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry if y'all can hear that. I don't know what they doing outside. I don't know what they doing outside, so. Let's see. Better insight. Okay, so before... With this insight, let me just explain this. Before the crow would have just tried to peck at the shrimp. And before the, the, the crow would try to peck at the shrimp. So think as if these rocks aren't there, right? These rocks aren't there and the shrimp is in the, the glass with just the water. But from insight, the, rock, the, the crow knows that if I fill this jar up with rocks, the water will rise to the, to the top and I can easily get the shrimp without getting stuck in the jar.
Think about how all the times that the, the, the crow had to fail in order to learn that. So many different trial and errors. And this water could be sim could be symbolic too, to using the water or, or to, to being in the water and using the rocks. Let's see. Okay, we got success coming out with the panther. <clears throat> got success coming out with the panther. Panther, I was just thinking about a panther. Where did I just see something about a panther? Or was I just reading about a panther? So your approach is success. You're you're about to approach success and freedom. You are about to approach success and freedom. That is what you are approaching. You have very, very patient influences around you. There's very good patient people who are patient with you. Um, also, patience is going to be a thing for you. Be patient with yourself. Lack of patience could also be causing some type of battle within. Like be patient with yourself learning how to, learning that you need to fill the jar up with rocks. <laughs> it's like be patient as you learn that. Be patient as you learn. You hope to experience a blessing, which you are. You are being carried on a, on a voyage. It seems like something could be pulling you another way, but actually something is trying to carry you. Just let it carry you to where you're supposed to be. And the outcome is enlightenment. Becoming enlightened. This is your outcome of releasing. Even though you don't know what is behind the door. Even though something may not look like it's supposed to look. You are about to expand into greater awareness of yourself and the universe. How you play a big part within the universe. You are connecting with what you can't see right now. Have faith in yourself. You are much more than you believe yourself to be. Have patience that there is a plan unfolding and the sky is the limit. You are about to your your world is about to become aligned with your belief system. Just because you believe that you can fly, that you can soar. All right, Libra. So that is your daily inspo. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.